The Sukhoi S70 Okhotnik also referred to as Hunter B, former Mikoyan SCAT UCAV, is a Russian stealth heavy unmanned combat aerial vehicle developed by Sukhoi as a sixth generation aircraft project. It encompasses some technologies of the fifth generation Sukhoi Su-57 fighter jet. The Okhotnik design is based on the flying wing scheme and incorporates use of composite materials and stealth coatings, for reduced visibility. The drone can substantially extend the sensor and weapon ranges of manned fighters. In its debut flight in 2019, the Okhotnik flew for over 20 minutes. The Su-57 and Hunter flew together in their maiden test flight in September 2019 for over 30 minutes, just months after the drone debut flight. In December 2020, Okhotnik conducted simulated tests with missiles to test its fire control systems. Jane's defense concluded that it was the KH-59 Mk-2 standoff cruise missile. The KH-59 Mk-2 air-to-surface guided missile is designed to engage a wide range of fixed ground targets at a distance of up to 285 kilometers. The KH-59 Mk-2 is equipped with a correlation optical seeker providing autonomous recognition of the terrain area adjacent to the target. Okhotnik test showed that the aircraft could effectively hit small-sized camouflage targets with missiles. The drone conducted its first live-fire test by releasing 500-kilogram unguided bombs on a target, according to a report, in January 2021. The Hunter is equipped with Saturn AL-41 FM-1 engine without afterburner and without thrust vectoring. It has a flat nozzle that is significantly smaller than its predecessor, allowing it to fit better into the fuselage. These distinctive features reduce radar and thermal visibility of the drone. It is expected to fly at 1,000 km an hour and to have a range of 6,000 km. Drone expected to be able to operate in stratosphere, at altitudes up to 50 km. An unmanned aircraft eliminates the constraints imposed by human physiology when operating in stratosphere. The Okhotnik arsenal includes air-to-surface missiles and an array of bombs that will be hidden inside the body to reduce visibility on enemy radar. The ability to keep weapons inside the aircraft allows the drone to attack while operating in stealth mode. The drone wingspan is 19.1 meters. Length, 15.1 meters. Height, 3.16 meters. Maximum takeoff weight, 20,000 kilograms. Practical ceiling, 10,500 meters. Combat load, 2,800 kilograms. The Su-57 can control a swarm of up to four Okhotnik drones. The Su-57 and Hunters can interact not only with each other but also in various types of combat formations. These drones will likely be used to destroy large strategic targets, such as command centers, airfields, and weapons storage facilities. They will be able to clear path for strategic bombers Tu-160 and Tu-22, as well as MiG-31, which can carry KH-101 cruise missiles or the Kinzel hypersonic missile. The KH-101 is armed with conventional warhead and has a range of 3,000 kilometers. Depending on the version the missile weighs 2,200 to 2,400 kg and carries a 400 to 450 kg warhead. The drone can conduct reconnaissance, give target designation and strike at ground and airborne targets. The Hunter is made with elements of artificial intelligence. It will be possible to set general tasks for it that the drone can perform independently. The Hunter is equipped with electro-optical targeting. Unlike the American MQ-9 Reaper, Okhotnik is designed for war rather than counterinsurgency operations against opponents with no air defenses. It is expected that the S-70 Okhotnik will enter service with the Russian army in 2024.